I'm Musa Yusuf Buhari. So in this video, I would like to uh, recommend on the best food that diabetic patient should be used in order to prolong his long lifespan and also to prevent him from falling into some disease conditions that are uh, arise or result from the complication of the diabetes mellitus, such as kidney disease, heart disease, respiratory disease, and a problem that will arise as a result of this condition. So now, the food intake of a diabetic patient should be a low caloric energy dense food. That means food that can supply energy to the body of a diabetic patient because of his condition, it has to do with carbohydrate metabolic disorder, meaning that it has to do with the uh, class of food that supply energy to the body. And since it is a carbohydrate metabolic disorder, therefore the type of food that is recommended, one of the type of food that is recommended for the diabetic patient is to make use of a low caloric food substances such as fruit and vegetable because of fruit and vegetables are low in calorie. They supply low calorie because they have a very small amount of energy in them and it is highly rich in antioxidants. That means substances or properties that can prevent the body from falling into cardiovascular situation or cardiovascular diseases. These properties is very important and it can come from fruit and vegetables and that is why it is uh, advisable for those that are suffering from this condition to make use of uh, to make use of fruit and vegetables such as cucumber cabbage carrot and so on and so forth because it is highly rich in antioxidant property then coming to the issue of the carbohydrates as a diabetic patient you cannot abstain or cut of carbohydrate totally because of the brain and other tissues within the body such as the cornea of the eye and the red blood cells they don't have uh they depend on the carbohydrate for the supply of energy because they cannot metabolize other source of the uh, other source of the macronutrient to supply energy within the body and they depend upon the uh, glucose for their supply of energy and as such in order to not to allow the body to fall into another different situation, there is the minimum of the carbohydrate level that, as a professional, a diabetic patient should consume to uh, allow him to stay in the healthy situation. Even a, uh, not less than minimum of 100 gram of carbohydrate is required so as to prevent the body from falling into uh, ketosis, which can alter the acid-base balance of the blood. Because altering the acid-base balance of the blood can result into another, another situation that can disturb the patient again. So when the acid-base balance of the blood is being altered as a result of the ketosis, because of when ketosis is, uh, is taking place as a result of the lipid metabolism, when you are in sh when you're shortage of the uh, lipid, I mean, when you're shortage of the carbohydrate, the body will turn to operate into the breaking down of the either protein or the lipid so as to supply energy within the body. So now, when too much of these ketone bodies are accumulated within the blood, when they compound it, they become so toxic because of it will shift or alter the acid-base uh, balance or equilibrium between normal, normally the acid-base balance in the blood is supposed to be maintained between 7.35 to 7.45 pH levels within the body. So now if uh, you allow the body without taking in the carbohydrate to maintain the carbohydrate metabolism, so the body will now start operating in that line, which is not advisable for a diabetic patient to allow his body to operate in that, uh, in that situation because of uh, a stone will be accumulating or acetic acid or beta hydroxy uh, butyric acid. All these are ketone bodies and therefore they are uh, there are problem in another way. So now, uh, a, a, in summary, it is advisable to make use of the carbohydrate, but complex carbohydrate or carbohydrate that are less in glycemic index, meaning that the response of uh, of the insulin toward the glucose is dependent on the glycemic index. So the higher the glycemic index, the more danger or prone the effect of the uh, of the diabetic 
can become in the body. So it is advisable to make use of the food low in glycemic index. So, and also to make use of the complex carbohydrate because complex carbohydrates are polysaccharide in nature. And therefore, it takes time for them to be broken down into a glucose unit. That's why it is good to make use of the complex carbohydrates such as the wheat uh, uh, and other things like uh, corn. So, and the guinea corn, all these contain uh, a polysaccharide unit. Instead of using simple carbohydrates that are less in glycemic, that are uh, that can, uh, what do you so call this thing? Simple carbohydrate because they can easily be broken down and then be available within the blood. And remember that your problem, it has to do with the glucose availability. So therefore, don't make use of the simple carbohydrate. Go for the complex carbohydrate. Then, uh, talking about the proteins, the diabetic patients are supposed to be making use of lean meat. Because of lean meat contain less fat in them. So make use of the lean meat. And also make use of uh, uh, skinless meat from the chicken. Because mostly the fat it contain under the skin of a chicken. So therefore make use of uh, skinless meat. It is also advisable. Then uh, for the protein also, uh, diabetic patients should supposed to make use of uh, legumes and pulses such as kidney beans. Kidney beans is protein and it has uh, less glycemic index as well. It is recommended for diabetic patients to make use of all these. Then uh, for the issues of fat, a diabetic patient are supposed to be using healthy fat, which comes from unsaturated fatty acid. This can come from either fish that are highly rich in omega-3 fatty acid, or they should make use of uh, some... Uh, plant-based oil such as the corn flour oil, uh, corn oil, uh, sunflower oil, olive oil are uh, highly rich in unsaturated, polyunsaturated fatty acid and monounsaturated fatty acid. And uh, soya beans oil, all these are healthy and recommended type of the oil that a diabetic patient should supposed to be using for his health condition. Then uh, talking about the uh, exercise is very important because exercise helps to uh, to allow energy from the, the the muscles and the cells, skeletal cells. They make use of the energy or they make use of the glucose available within the system when you do exercise. So uptake of the uh, glucose can be easily uh, taking place when you undergo exercise. So it is advisable to make use or to do exercise at least 30 to 40 minutes daily. So it is very important to do that as a diabetic patient. Then for uh, the issues of water, it is also advisable to take an adequate water because it will help to allow digestion and absorption of the protein to take place properly. Normally, protein allow uh, water to, to, to digest properly within the system. So uh, thank you very much for your audience. In the next video, we are going to or I'm going to discuss about the restricted food for the diabetes mellitus. So